what's going on? What's going on? So I, I had a Facebook friend inbox me and just wanted some um, confirmation on and comfort um, on a subject. Um, she went out on a date. Date went wood really well. Really nice gentleman. And um, just within conversation, um, because she did ask, did he believe in God? He said yes. Just in um, just in more conversation and really getting to know each other, um, she finds out he's a Muslim. So um, she had some other Christians tell her that um, pretty much it was okay um, for her to date him. So she asked me my opinion. So we always going to go back and revert to the Bible scriptures that says that we um, shouldn't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. So I want to go deep into that. So here's the thing. Muslims that the Muslims that I know, not the ones that America try to betray, are great people. Some of my Muslim brothers, I would trust with my life. You know, some of my Muslim brothers I can go to at any time and get some good sound, um, godly information from. Um, and and the wonderful thing about Muslims is that I mean they do exactly what scriptures say do. You know, they do exactly their prayer life is 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 awesome. Their prayer life is awesome. Their dedication to God is awesome. Unlike Christians. So so here here's here's where, where I'm going with this. Is that we can sit here and judge another religion that we shouldn't be unequally yoked with them. But don't you understand when you get with another Christian and you guys are not um, and your house is divided and not on sound doctrine. One person is going to one church. One person is going to another. Um, they're not seeing eye to eye or this person says they're a Christian, but not really going to church, not re really reading the Bible, not really putting any effort into um, getting to know Jesus Christ. And you guys are growing together, praying together. Um, that person is unequally yoked, too. So to me, being with another Christian that is not following the word of God and you guys going down the same path is worse than dating a Muslim or a Mormon or a Catholic or seven day evangelist or Jehovah witness. We can go down the list on and on and on. You know, my, my thing is we can't sit there and judge another religion based off of the word Christian, because again, people call themselves Christians all day and walk just like Satan. So I'm done with, you know, putting, putting Christians in this category as if we're this elite, elite religion. We're not. The elite believers of Jesus Christ are the ones that walk the walk, talk the talk. And those are the ones that understand why the Bible tells us not to be unequally yoked with others. And, and again, that can mean you and I can be Christians. I believe that you should wear your hair long and cover it. You believe that you can wear your hair anywhere you want and wear short dresses or whatever the case may be. We can be, again, we can be unequally yoked when it comes down to the word of God. Christian versus Christian, it happens every day. In fact, I can't even tell from Christian women from the worldly women because of the way they dress and the way they talk. So again, when I, I can definitely tell uh, a real well-rounded believer of a, of the, of, of a Muslim, I can, I can tell, I mean, this is so funny because they do have a lot of peace and love with them. I have some on my page. I, I have friends that are, that are Muslim. It's just something about them, brothers and sisters that are very peaceful uh, that I can't see in my Christian brothers and sisters. So again, I say everything goes to prayer. Everything goes to prayer. I'm not saying date another religion. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that Christians can be unequally yoked, yoked just as well as going to another religion can be unequally yoked. So just be very careful when you're being judgmental towards another religion, because again, God, God wants us as Christians to be the, the shining light and to walk in the light. We should be able to, in our walk, in friendship and fellowship with them, kind of get them to see that Christianity, believer of Jesus Christ is the way to go. So again, 
erase all the stuff that America has told you about Muslims. It's not true. There, there's some erratic, there's some, 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 of course, radical Muslims, just like there's a ton of radical Christians here in America that kill, kill, kill in the name of God and, and this, that, and other. So let, let's, let's, let's forget about what we've learned about Muslims and honestly get to know a couple of them brothers, get to know a couple of them sisters, real cool and chill. I'm not saying change your relationship because remember, Jesus Christ hung with all kinds of different types of believers. It just so happened that when they hung out with Jesus Christ, they they became a believer of his teaching and, and became believers of Jehovah God. You know, so um, to finish this up, I've, I've dabbled with so many different, under, because I like to understand other religions because I don't want to be one of those people that just talk out of the mouth and not understand why other religions who they worship and what they worship trust and believe if you open up if you open up your heart and just try to get to know what muslims stand for you will you will you will understand that they're closer than what most may think they are the difference is is the messiahs the difference is jesus christ versus uh, muhammad but don't let that deter you and make it a friend from a muslim I, I remember I used to date this young lady that when I told her I have Muslim friends, she think she talking about they're gonna try to kill me, jaha, and you know, and she really didn't even understand what that meant. But yet she threw it out there as if she knew what she was talking about. Muslims are not here in the United States to kill anybody. So again, you can be unequally yoked being with a Christian as much as being with a Muslim. But at least get to know one, befriend one. Be friends with one, fellowship with one, and you just might make a difference in that person's life to bring them to Christ. Have a good one.